This is Hewlett with Rehab Mart. I'm here at MedTrade in Atlanta, and I'm here with Ryan with Human Care. And Ryan's going to give us an introduction to these exciting new patient care transition uh, technologies. Absolutely. So these are our convertible chairs. This is the 250-pound model. That's the 400-pound model. I'll give you a quick rundown of the of the functions. Very simple. This is the recline. Wherever you stop, it stops. So it gives you infinite number of repositioning. So if a patient says that feels good right there, you stop right there. And it goes all the way into a better stretch position. If you want to tilt the entire frame of the chair, this is the tilt in space. Again, where you stop, it stops. So this is great for a patient that tends to lean forward in their chair. A patient with a sacral to cube, you just took all the pressure off their sacrum and put it on their lower back, now mid back, upper back and shoulders. So just a minor adjustment like that changes complete pressure points. That in combination with the fact that this is pressure reducing foam and gel, it's great for patients with wounds or that are prone to wounds. You can height adjust this for a taller patient. So back here you'll see this little knob. There's one on the foot as well. If you loosen that up, you can adjust this for a taller patient. So fully extended, we usually say about 6'6", six, six would be the max capacity. Then if you had a patient that wanted to sit in the chair that was a stroke survivor or someone without great trunk control, you can actually use this to keep their head centered. So one or both sides. And you can also adjust the armrests up. So for someone like you, it's a little taller. You can adjust those up to meet his needs. The foot plate will be able to come out if you wanted to have your foot out or if you want to have the leg rest come up. You can adjust this in different positions and then it will come back with you as you bring it back. So for those patients that need to have their legs at a certain angle for periods of the day, you're able to do that. And you can really feel the pressure points changing as you lay back. So if you want to get out just to get out, if you want to get in for a therapy session, it gives you a lot of different functionality from that perspective. And just a minor change every few minutes changes complete pressure points. So you can really aggressively target and untarget the areas that would be difficult for you. Now, if you take the pressure going to my to my scapula region and it came off, transfer more absolutely to my backside here, my coccyx. Now, in the 400 pound chair, most of the functionality is going to be the same. You're just going to have a little bit more of the heavy duty or material, so the higher viscosity gel is more prominent in this versus this, so that the pressure map is the same. Everything else though is going to function basically the same. Tilt, space. Adjustability with the footrest coming out, foot plate coming up and locked in different positions. One of the unique things about this though is that it was designed to work as a single caregiver transfer system as well. But basically what happens is, is you're going to lay this thing in a, in a flat position. Turn this back, turn this back. It goes flat, it goes up next to the patient's bed. There's a transfer bar that connects right onto the chair here. So this guy pops up, pops out. There's one on the foot as well. And you basically put the transfer bar right here, connects to the sheet that they're already lying on. You turn a little handle. It's only four and a half pounds of pressure through the transfer and it gently brings them over into the chair. So the transfer bar essentially does what she's doing right there exactly. on the screen. It connects to the head and footboard of their existing bed. So it works with any hospital bed. So it really allows you to do it for patients that are max assist for transfers, that are unsafe for your lift transfers, or it's too painful. A lot of patients with wounds in their sacral and lower back area, every time they get transferred to your lift, it rips that granulated skin tissue away. So this is a great chair for patients with wounds and that are prone to wounds. So it's, uh, anyone that has a stage three or stage four is probably spending a lot of time on a, on a stage four overlay. But once they start to heal up, they can come to this type of surface so that as they're transfer, starting to transfer off of the overlay back into the sitting surface, protecting that integrity of that granulated tissue. Right, so for patients that have wounds, they still need to sit up because you need to sit up and let the diaphragm do what it's supposed to do. But if they have a wound, most nurses are going to keep them stationary, keep them in the bed, and really they need to sit up. The reason they don't sit them up is because there's not something that can offload the pressure from that area like this chair and that has a therapeutic grade material inside of it. So because this has both of those, 
It really allows you to get those patients that normally don't get out of bed, but that should allows you to get those people out of bed. So not all skin breakdown is on the, is on the sacral area. The second area for skin breakdown is the heels. So one of the one of the key pieces on this chair here, you'll see there's a calf pad here. So in a regular chair or wheelchair, when you're sitting down, you're having your circulation pinched at the back of your thigh. When you sit in this chair, your calf is always going to hit this and your heels are going to be able to float. So one of the key things that nurses try and do with heel issues is they try and get inflatable booties to have them float. But with this, your heels, you can adjust it in so that your heels float so that nothing's touching it, so that they're able to breathe, they're able to heal. So it's really for any of those patients that are difficult patients for transfers or that have a, a complex diagnosis that the nurses would rather just keep them in bed. If you're not sitting up, you're mentally not as happy as you would be if you were able to go outside, look out the window. So it's, it's getting you in a better mental state of mind as well as the healing process can really It's part of the protocol that you're constantly transitioning position throughout the day. Is there a protocol That's a good question. That? So we recommend every 15 minutes to just do a minor reposition so that if you tell a family every 15 minutes, they'll probably do it every hour. Okay. So as long as they're at least doing every hour, but 15 minutes would be even better. So in a facility setting, if you tell them 15 minutes, they'll do it. So literally just that, you're changing complete pressure points. So whether it's that, whether it's this, whether it's this, whether it's bringing the legs up a notch or two. It's, we call it infinite because wherever you stop, it stops. It'll go all the way into a tread down bar position if a patient codes or has blood pressure issues. So it gives you a lot of unique functionality. It allows you to get patients that have a lot more severe diagnosis out of bed. Even if it's not for a long period of time, it makes a big deal for them. It's the awesome med trade recap, Ryan. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Yeah, have a great one.